You people now have fun. It's me. How you like that? In today's episode, you are going to sit with me as I do this. <laughs> that I have to get them into my closet and into my box because it has been sitting there for days. You know when you do your laundry, it's almost impossible for some of us to just pack it away. <laughs> I don't know why we have to take so much time about it even without for days and then some people even see it when they are sleeping in the night and they have a jump scare but you literally put it there yourself so what we are going to be doing is packing that up while I do a sit down let's talk video so I hope this is fun and thank you so much for joining me today let's go there so the system I have is just to hang up my clothes and button down shirts that's what I do basically and then I put the rest folded into my box I have a system of gowns here tops here I have trousers here I have skirts here I have more trousers here Sometimes I scatter them when I'm trying to get something to wear. Oh, not really. This is trousers and this is things like, you know, leggings, that kind of stuff. I have scarves here. And then these are just for my African wears or my Ankara, as we like to call them, or Adire. And so up here, I have my shoes. That shoe needs to go. I can just hear my sister saying it. That has to go. <laughs> and then here i have things i use as belts um bags some bags i have some up there and then here i just use this place for low shoes hmm. i wonder why i'm showing you all of this but i have a few cups here i've not started using these because it's not that kind of zero degree weather yet so let us bring this outside and let's get this video started hang it up there so we can just while we get to do this oh okay the sun is sunning the sun is definitely sunning so for this sit down video there's something i wanted to talk about i wrote it down just so you know i'm serious so it says learning to let things happen that's what i want to talk about while i put this away okay this is definitely going on a hanger because it's a coat this is going here i have to find the second leg i think i should just let this be here first this entire pile why can't we just put stuff away as soon as we launder them? Why is that a thing with everybody? Why can't you just put stuff away? It's just a very weird thing. Let's talk guys. Learn to let things happen. I think the first time I realized I had a problem with this was when my cousin, who is a very sweet person by the way, and who can be very honest and very frank with her words which is a good thing because if you have people who are just saying yes 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 to you all around you all the time you may have to leave that company it's not actually very good for you 
I know it feels good to just have people who are always telling you, oh, you are the most amazing person. While you are the most amazing person, you also need people in your circle who will be like, you are better than this thing that you did, or you can be better than this thing that you have just done. Okay? So, it's good to have all the praisers and the yes sayers, but then it will also benefit you greatly to have people in your circle who can call you out on your shit. You know, permit my language. So that's that's the kind of person my cousin has always been to me. Shout out to her. So the first time I knew I had a problem with you know wanting to so to say control everything was when she pointed it out. She was like, mm, why do you behave like a control freak? And I was like, mm. <laughs> in a way you hear such things, you first of all think of people who are psychopaths, people who are, you know, devilish in nature, those narcissists, <laughs> people who will even murder people. <laughs> So that's the idea it painted in my mind. So of course the first thing I did was to refute it both in my mind and then out loud. I was like, I don't get what do you mean by that? And she was like, ah, the way she explained it made me see that sometimes it's in the little things and you don't even realize that that is what it is or that is a problem until it gets bigger than you. Who else checks if their clothes are good to go in a box like this? Once I give it a sniff, I know if all oh, still has to hang on the chair. You know what I mean by the chair? You know, there's a chair that serves like an intermediary between clean clothes and dirty clothes. So the clothes that you don't need to wash, but then you know that you can't put them in your box or in your closet they go to the chair so for some things that I've worn just once I sniff them to know if they should go into the laundry or they should stay on the chair so this is a pantyhose so I just put it in that netted area of my bag it was in the little things that was how she was able to show me that oh see in this 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 you can't just sit back and let this thing happen you want to always be, oh, no, 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 don't do it like that. Do it like this, do it like that. And it may seem like, oh, that's just how I am. Sometimes it may graduate into being a real problem. An actual problem that you don't even think about. But it is a problem because now you can't just rest. You can't just, you know, put your mind at peace that, oh, I've told this person to do this thing for me and they will handle it. Or, okay, some for some people it's even as bad as I've delegated this thing, but they can't even just sit back and use their time to do other things, which may have been the reason for them delegating in the first place. So they've delegated this thing, but they still want to micromanage the person, micromanage the situation, so that they are stressed from doing the work that somebody else, probably somebody they've even paid to do, is supposed to do. So at the end of the day, it's like, oh, why didn't I do this thing by myself? But you didn't do the thing by yourself. You gave it to somebody to do, but you didn't let the person do it because control. So as I'm speaking, some of these things, you may even start thinking about them and start to see the patterns in your own life. And you know, I hope these things, some of these videos I post, I hope they actually make sense enough to, you know, cause a change in lives, you know, for my 60 subscribers that I have, <laughs> I hope I'm actually doing something with these videos. So I really thought about this some days ago and I realized that hmm, I'm no more as control freakish as I used to be because for example I have something now I'm planning with you know some person and I'm able to just 
let her handle the part that she's supposed to handle i'm not like fretting about it yes i'm like oh i wish i was there to also like oh this is the specifics of what i want to happen or this is the specifics of how it should be but for the most part i'm settled i'm just like doing my part and i'm letting her do her part which is not something that would have been the case before i know myself because after she told me you may have this issue in this thing i think i began to watch it at a point i began to feel mm, this may actually be true so the first thing introspection so when you introspect think a little bit you see that hmm why can't i just relax when this person says i'll handle this thing just let it go In some of us who are africans or who are nigerians we make the joke that you know some of us when our mothers enter the house they can't sit still they start to look every surface is it clean is this so they start to look at the ceiling oh what's that speck of dust there up there and you're just like relax rest so you can see how annoying that kind of thing is to you who just wants to chill you've done what she said you should do you want to chill but once she comes back it's like oh you didn't do this thing well look at yourself don't you also do that same thing in other ways or is it because you're not somebody's mother just imagine the same thing happening with you but in reverse you've told somebody to do this thing and they have tried their best or they've not even shown you the results but you're already agitated you're already frustrated that this thing will not be good you can't even enjoy yourself you can't even use your time to do other things you are all about oh this thing hmm. this boy will not do this thing well this girl will not do this thing well oh god why did that then you've carried your phone you've called the person oh do you remember this detail do you remember that thing do you remember what i said you should do don't mess it up oh, already you are giving the person anxiety about the stuff oh snap i have to be extra and for everybody who has some form of anxiety or the other you know that once people are looking at you that's when the thing even spikes i saw one um video on instagram where uh someone made i think uh what's his name david or i think that's his name david or something he made a what's it called a skit you are walking normally you're walking normally everybody knows how to walk but when three people are watching you walk <laughs> All of a sudden your legs start twisting you don't know how to walk anymore because that is the thing when you are too conscious when you are making somebody feel too conscious of your presence of your micromanaging of, of your all of your control there's a likelihood that the thing that they know how to do doubt starts to set in and they feel like they don't know how to do it or they won't do it enough to impress you so at the end of the day there becomes there becomes a problem and so that thing that you were worried about them not doing well they may end up not doing it well not because they didn't know, know how to do it but because you have sort of influenced their ability so that is to tell you how bad this control of a thing can be not just to yourself i've talked about how it can be detrimental to you but also to the other person without you realizing you may just be like oh that's just how i am is that really just how we are i might say this is something that can just go away i wouldn't say so introspection like i've said is this a problem i have because sometimes we have things that we do not realize we have and that's where the issues spring from so that even when people who love us and who want the best for us point it out we cannot see it we are all up in our heads and we believe that we have everything figured out which is also a control thing these things can be so subtle that's just the thing they can be so subtle you do not even realize that this is a thing just like in that subtlety that i've been doing these things and i didn't realize it was a problem until my cousin pointed it out that's how it can be in your own life too and it may have even been damaging so many things probably even damaging your relationships with people or even with your significant other without knowing because you know you tell your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your husband or your wife can you please do this thing for me oh i'm so stressed oh they just want to help you know, i'm so stressed i'm so stressed and then they now offer you help 
but you can't rest enough for them to actually help you it's, it's a lot bigger than oh i just want things i just want to be sure that it's done so i have to do it it's a lot bigger than that also to say perfectionalism if that's a word is a is is much bigger than that it's the fact that you don't trust yourself you don't trust your space you don't trust even the people you have in your lives enough to be able to hand over stuff to them so if you don't trust people that you've brought close to you people that are around you for a certain reason then how exactly is your life or what exactly is your life i don't know if you get me if these people that are around you you can just keep stuff in their hands and be sure that oh i can go to sleep and they will get this thing done then maybe the thing should start with how seriously are you taking yourself and this thing that you may be dealing with enough that you you don't realize that oh since i have this issue with wanting things done a certain way and in a perfect way then maybe i have to bring people who can get them done in that so to say perfect way around me so if you are still letting people whom you have an inclination or you have a feeling cannot do things right or the way that you want maybe you are bringing them to yourself unknowingly unconsciously or subconsciously because you still want to control them and micromanage them mm. that's a lot i'm just going to give you two seconds for that to sink in i am saying that maybe you are intentionally but subconsciously intentionally not letting competent people come around you or people who are of a certain standard because you don't want that standard to be above what you can control or what you can manage and the thing is the mind is such a is such a beautiful terrific but terrifying thing because you don't even know that this is what you're doing until you sit and think about it that if i know that this person for those who have big brands or whatever this person did not edit my pictures the way i wanted it to be edited or this person did not take my pictures before we even talk about editing the way i want them to be taken and it's not the first time it's not the second time and you of course stress over it that first time because of course you have to stress over it it's not done properly you are angry and all of that and then you have to sit with the person to do the thing again and then finally you fire the person but then now you you put out a notification that you want to employ somebody else to do the same thing that you fired this other person for incompetence but now you are employing somebody who also can't get the job right why do you think that happened if like you said you want a certain standard or you have a certain standard or you have a certain way you expect that that the job should be done and it was not done it's either of two things it's either the person did the job according to the standard you said you had but of course typical you your standard is always higher than everybody's own and nothing is ever good enough for you because again you need to control the situation you need to manage you need to micromanage or you actually employed or brought to yourself somebody whom you could manage or control somebody below the standard you said you always want to have i know it's a lot to take in i don't have a solution more than look with it because i may not be talking to you in this video <laughs> I may just be folding my clothes and maybe just talking to myself. Maybe this doesn't concern anybody watching right now. Or maybe this concerns you. Maybe you've been seeing a pattern. Maybe the the talk around town is that you are too difficult to work with or nothing people do for you is ever good enough. If that is the talk around town, it may not be that those people are jealous of your success or whatever. Change, not change your standards, so to say, but maybe make them meetable. Maybe actually, actually think and ask yourself, why do I have to always end up doing stuff by myself and only by myself and no other person's way 
is as good as mine. No other person's way can suffice except for mine. Maybe you do have to think about it. It's not bad to admit the problem. I feel like sometimes we are too... What's the word? We are too scared to admit that this thing is a problem because we think that it's a claim that you have a problem. No. The problem is the thing. The problem is not you. You're a human being created by God. We're in there when he fashioned some characteristics in you that may have led into these other characteristics that may not be too positive. So the thing is the problem, not you. So I think that if we think about it like that, it's easier to come to the point of making changes. It's easier to, so to say, change these things and become better for it, if that makes sense. So, are you a control freak? I know it may not be a psychotic problem. It isn't even a psychotic problem. It's just a problem. You don't have to think of it in relation to you, how bad or how good of a person you are. You are just a person and we are all different. It's just that we've been thrown together into the world. So we don't have a choice but to figure out how our actions are affecting the other people. It's not our fault that we all have to live together. <laughs> Believe me, for some of us, we would, we would rather live on an island. I think that Robinson Crusoe was one of the luckiest people on earth. You know, in the fictional story, Let's keep aside the fact that he had to starve for a while, be lonely for a while. But once he could get the hang of it, I mean, like he was one of the luckiest people on earth. We don't have to deal with human drama, but that's what they like. And but because we have to deal with human drama, sometimes we just have to reflect on some things we do. I know it's not easy. I know we would rather just chill and just do our thing and just have our way again, control. But we've been thrown here with people and we wouldn't like people to hurt us we think so let's try not to hurt them also so yeah that's just what i have today thank you for sitting with me and helping me with my pile of laundry i hope i don't do the same thing next week when i eat laundry again but mm, knowing myself i will still have that pile. but definitely the next video is not going to be that bad so you don't get tired or bored of me so watch out for the next video it's a little something something i'm so excited about it okay remember to subscribe and turn the notifications see you next time bye